Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, it's a cup of tea. We have Captain Steve, heck yes. And today, chums, I'm just going to be trying to get my ship in my actual legacy save. When I say my ship, I'm on about the Utopia Speeder. Yeah, awesome name. Anyway, let's jump on over into game. Boom. And there I am in game. So I'm on the title screen at the moment. And as you can see, the Utopia Expedition took me three hours and 40 minutes there or thereabouts. There were times, though, that I just sat in my ship and went downstairs and made a cup of tea and came back upstairs and stuff like that. And then I'd done some editing in between. So... I actually think this one is super easy, super quick. It didn't really need a guide for it, but you know, I like to have the completeness of the game and play through on my channel. So anyway, let's hit on up this and let's jump on in. But if you do need a guide for the expedition, for whatever reason, it's on my channel, people in the view of us. Heck yes, it is. And you know what? I put a link to the full playlist of the playthrough up there. So if you haven't got this ship and you want some assistance or some tips, things not to do, because I died in a volcano in phase two, it's pretty darn hilarious, check out that playlist. I think you're going to enjoy it. I hope you do anyway. So anyway, back into game, and this is my legacy save. Now what I'm probably going to do is just turn off the multiplayer for now anyway, because when I go inside the Nexus, I don't really want Want ships flying in and landing and all the sorts of shakiness that happens in the Nexus sometimes when that takes place. So I'm just going to go into my little exotic ship, I'm going to fly on out, and I'm going to be calling in the old Nexus, and we can see if we can get it. I might put the hood on and the cape for a little while on this player as well, because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they've fixed being able to see each other's capes in multiplayer. Actually, I might be able to test that in this video, actually, people. Mind not. Let's fly inside of the Nexus and let's go and claim our new ship. Now, I've already seen Jason Plays do a video on this. A really good video. I'll put his video up here if you want, if you can hit that one up. Um, but yeah, I, I think he gets to the point a bit quicker than me because, you know, I'm sipping tea and talking because that's the format of this video. If you just want a straight guide, that's a good one. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I already know that you've got to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you've earned it, mate, yeah, you're going to pay for it, and it's going to cost you nanites. Now, I can't remember how much nanites it was. It was a fair few nanites, so I've got guides on how to make nanites. In fact, I've got a really good guide on how to make nanites out of feces, out of creature poo. Yes, make nanites out of poo. It's done quite well, that video. I'll put that one up there if you do need nanites. And you've done baking and cooking inside of this expedition. Anyway, so if you go down to here, you go to Collect Expedition Rewards. It's kind of obvious on the tree, but there you go. A lot of people are so used to doing that, muscle memory. It's actually that one. It's the third one down. So go into there, and there's my ship. So if I hit this, it comes up with the whole compare thing. Oh, nice. It's got quite a lot of kit in it already. All right, fine. Yes, compare. Yeah, I, I just want to buy it. And you see there, it's 1,400 nanites. Even if I wanted to exchange, they're still trying to charge me nanites. Yeah, okay, well, that's quite a fair few nanites. But all right, fine. There you go, deal. Deal of the frickin' century, mate. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to call that ship in. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. But first, I'm just going to go to the appearance modifier. I mean, there's my ship over there. There you go. I to go into camera mode. Let's just have a quick look at it now. But yeah, it's even my logo colours, red, white and black, so it suits me perfectly fine. So I'm probably going to be using this ship for some time now. I'm going to be upgrading this ship, I'll do a few episodes on upgrading this ship and sort of like kitting it all out. But I quite like the fact that it's got a weapon that I don't use often. I might leave that weapon in there. What an awesome looking ship. It almost looks like the DeLorean of No Man's Sky. I love it. It almost looks like it's been bolted on at the back here by Doc Brown, you know what I mean? kind of expect to turn around in the seat in VR and see a flux capacitor in there. That'd be freaking epic, wouldn't it? But, you know, um, but it's, it's already very Star Wars-esque. I don't want them to risk getting another lawsuit by asking that they had a flux capacitor in the back of the seat. But that, that would be good. Do it. <laughs> Anyways, let's head on over to the appearance modifier. I'm going to put on the new helmet for a while. Oh, it helps if I claim the helmet first, doesn't it, people? Okay, so yeah, not exactly the most straightforwards of guides, this one, because yeah, I've already run up and down a ramp that I didn't need to. Anyway, at least you get to see the steps again. There you go, so here we go, the steps in, in here. So collect expedition reward, and this time I'm going to collect, I might as well get the banner, might as well get the badge, little robot. There's the helmet! Heck yes, want that. Holographic fee friend we've got all these posters lovely jubbly why can't i collect the normandy again that's weird isn't it 
Yeah, okay, anyway, done. We've got all those. Coolio. Now let's head on up and uh, let's change my helmet. And I might as well put on a cape as well. Hold on, that's a bit weird. I'm fairly sure we were supposed to get another cape. We were, weren't we? I'm, I'm sure I saw a cape in the actual game, in the patch notes. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so you have to be on Anomaly to use the helmet, and then you click on Head, and it's Head number 20. There you go. Fearsome Visor. Boom. Yes, I look like a fireman from hell. <laughs> I look like something straight out of freaking Star Wars, let's face it. It looks like a Sith-type helmet. You know what? I'm going to put on a cape. I'm going to be putting on... I don't think... I'm not keen on the tentacle cape. That one I quite like, but look look how it all shimmers now when he moves. Look, that blur effect. And it leaves half of the blur behind. What's that all about? I don't get that. So I don't like that one now. It's sort of broken. See that? that oh, look, they're all doing it. They're all doing this weird phase-shifting type crap. What's that all about? Okay, what about this one? Is And that one. Anything that's sort of like black, it... Oh my days, I think they've broken all the capes, people. All right, that one's not so bad, but it's still noticeable. What the fudge? Okay, now that one matches my freaking gut. Look, look at that. It matches my freaking t-shirt, people. Yes, yeah, so I made merch based on that cape. That was that used to be my favourite one, but I don't think that kind of yeah. Actually, we we stick with that one for now. There we go. Boom! It matches my current freaking motif, doesn't it? So there we are. There we are. So that's me for now, people. Okay. Yeah. Look. It actually does still, it all messes up. Look, it leaves pixels in the air as you're running. Why? That is proper weird. Oddities, anyway, let's turn on multiplayer and let's see if we can see other players' capes. I was gonna leave this till Friday to test, but we might as well have a quick look, see, mightn't we? Okay, well, it's gonna take a little while for players to actually spawn in, so let's go and have a look at the cockpit of my ship while I'm doing that, because I need to jump in and out of my ship to make a save anyway, so we might as well double up on that, mind now, mind we? Let's have a look at the cockpit. Okay, nice, I'm liking the screens, this is pretty cool. It looks just like the other sort of speeders that we've already got. The cockpit is very much in keeping with what we've already seen. It's not a far throw from what we're used to. Uh, yeah, this could be quite good fun inside the VR. I kind of wish, you see this side panel here? I wish that was more sort of like a blacked out window, but we can sort of still see through it because that's kind of like a massive blind spot in the VR, isn't it? All right, well, let's just jump on out. Yeah, we could do with like tinted glass in those side panels. But then again, we've got this, it's a little metal there, isn't it? So yeah, it wouldn't make sense thinking about it. Bit of a shame, because that is slightly restricted visibility, but nice ship, isn't it? Really nice ship. Okay, that would, now we've got some players spawning, and I can only but hope that he's got a cape on over there, or they've got a cape on, I should say. So, Santhoras. Oh, yeah, look. Okay, I think this person is wearing a cape, and we can't see it. So they haven't actually fixed capes viewing inside of multiplayer people so that's something that they haven't fixed so you know what even though i've got this cape on i'm going to keep this cape on for the weekend mission and keep this helmet for now but i'll probably be going back to my previous look and feel like the gek helmet and also the um exotic sort of wing pack because i kind of like that more and at the moment cape cape seem really janky i mean what is that all about those pixels flying off of it that's blinking horrible. Anyhow, let's just jump in the ship out of the ship one more time. Actually, let's take it out for a bit of a flight. That, that's probably an idea, isn't it? We'll do that quickly. Meow. Now, apparently, they're really good down on planet surface with speeding over the land. I don't know whether that's just a bit of flavor text or what, but let's um, let's fly on down. Let's have a quick look, see. Let's just fly to this planet. I don't know whether I've even, no, I haven't been to this planet. So, stats-wise, look at the maneuverability. All right. And I haven't, it hasn't even got these upgraded yet. Holy fudge, this thing could turn on a dime. All right, fine. I'm, I'm probably going to be boosting up the, um, the actual, oh yes, this thing is very freaking responsive. Okay, very responsive. Holy fudge. Especially since in the expedition, I was rocking around in a freaking hauler for a while. Look at this thing go. That is pretty darn freaking epic. Okay, I like this. This is this is this is the best reward 
inside of any expedition to date i like this more than the golden vector i mean i got rid of the golden vector because we didn't have a lot of ship slots and that's another thing about this update that's really cool we get given three new ship slots i mean this is going to fill one so we've got two new ship slots essentially essentially which i was thinking about going out and getting two new ships <laughs> oh freaking giant worm Nice one. Leave my new ship alone, you. Don't you scratch it. <laughs> Go on, fudge and blow. No, quick, protect the ship from the rocks. You git bag. Yes. Just got this out of the showroom, you freaking git. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Anyways. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So, yeah, we've got two sh new ship slots. But do you know what? I might keep those just in case another expedition rewards us with another ship. So, and, uh, yeah, and then I've got to make the hard decision of getting rid of a ship. So maybe not do that, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to be working on this ship in a few episodes, I think, people. Um, I've got a few other videos planned as well. Um, I'm going to do a review of the Utopia expedition because, obviously, I've completed it now. I've still got to work on the last episode, do the voiceover, and I'll be putting that live hopefully later today. So, yeah. Yeah, completed the expedition. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, peeps, I better um I better jump back over to this screen. Better have a little swig of my tea, because it's been a good nine minutes. <laughs> or ten. Lovely jubbly. It's sweet. So yeah, um, what else have I got planned, No Man's Sky wise? Yeah, well, there's quite a lot of VR streamers at the moment, isn't there? Some really good ones inside of the community in Verse. And if you're not aware of them, there's Scottish Rod, Good at Game, and Moose Gaming. All three of those are people that I watch quite regularly, and they've all picked up the VR units. And I've been watching them. <laughs> God, Scottish Rod had so many technical difficulties. It was kind of funny trying to see him. Get, but poor guy was getting very frustrated. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to see, though, that side of Rod, I suppose. But yeah, it was great fun. Yeah, check those three guys out because they're putting a lot of work into trying to bring VR into their actual um, channels. And it's not the easiest of tasks. And I've got that joy to look forward to when I do get my VR. But um, I'm still saving for it, to be fair. Um, I've got a trip to the Philippines in April. And um, when I get back from that, I'm hoping to get a VR unit and bring VR to my channel. So I've got that to look forward to. And um, also, inside of here, we've got this new catalog edition, haven't we? With the, the best sort of um, things that we found, the Wonders catalog. Now, in here, it's supposed to tell you about your most uh, paradisey planet. Where is it? The most perfect here. I found one that's 99.5. No way. OK, well, I want to find one that is inside of the NMSA hub. OK, 99.5 percent. Oh, I think I'm going to have to go back to that planet. So I'm going to do a, an episode on that planet. I just hope I hope, fingers crossed, it's inside of the NMSA hub. And look at that primary core element, Heridium. They took Heridium out of the game freaking years ago. That's really piqued my interest. We're going to make a journey back to that planet. We're going to go visit that planet in an episode, people, in the very near future. So look out for that one. On Tuesdays, I'm still doing my random portal adventures where I'm jumping into portals and taking a look-see around. And we'll see if any of the discoveries that I find knock any of these contenders off the top spots for being awesome. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we'll see if we can shuffle that around. And it adds an extra dimension to play to my random portal adventures, trying to find better creatures than what I've got on this list here. I mean, I, I wouldn't have added these guys on here. Well, look, that one's called Mike UK. So that one was probably from one of my portal adventures. Mutant Dog Turtle, that, that's from one of my portal adventures as well. So the nice thing is about my portal adventures, if you haven't seen one, is I go to random planets from a random generated portal code jump in and see what discoveries i get and i name them after the people inside of my live chat so i recognize those names they're people that watch my channel quite regularly so if you want to join us for like at 6 p.m on a tuesday every tuesday we run weekend missions same time on a friday apart from when there's a time zone change and it changes to 7 p.m in the winters so there we go people that's that's pretty much everything i've got for you and i've got quite a lot coming to this channel so if this is the first time you've watched one of these cup of teas with captain steve episodes and you like what you see with your eye people please do us a, a favor and hit that subscribe button it'd be good to see you here each morning and i don't always do no man's sky cup of tea videos sometimes i go off on all sorts so yeah anything geeky fun interesting on the net you know 
was all fair game. Anyway, people, take care. Have a good one. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.